flew on a plane. I flew on a plane. I did it. I did it. I conquered a fear. I overcame it. And I'm like, bro. And this is that on that. Clap for me! Thank you, Jesus, because I was praying before I got out of the car, in the car, on the plane, off the plane. Like, <sighs> I'm just really excited. It's my first plane ride. Honestly, it went by way smoother than what I thought. When it took off, I, was, I don't know what I was expecting, but <laughs> it was like a plane in front of us before they took off. And after they left, you know, we swerved around and then, you know, it just started speeding and I could feel the speed of it. So that was kind of cool. <laughs> I wasn't even it, like, I wasn't afraid. I was more so excited. So that was fun. And then, you know, once we got in the air, like we was going up, I kind of could feel us like, you know, I don't know how to explain it, but it felt good. But I was scared to look out the window and I had a window seat. So it took me a minute to look out of the window. And then when I did, it was just a beautiful scenery. Like, and <laughs> we was like above everything, like, cause you know, but clouds, no. <laughs> I almost panicked, but it was really a beautiful experience. Like, I don't feel as childish as I um, used to feel. So now I can honestly say that I flew on a plane and I'm ready to travel the world. <laughs> but yeah, I really, really enjoyed myself. Um, now I'm just ready to actually um, go to my destination. So I am currently in Washington, D.C. I've never been here before, so <laughs> can't wait to explore. Um, yeah. I went to too many liquor stores and they was all closed. It's damn near 12 o'clock, so everything closed up here at 12 o'clock. You know, caught hell, caught out Uber, caught out Uber, boom, 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 bam. Anyways, the lady that dance was talking to her complaining or whatever, she and I was like, I got y'all. Here goes some champagne. Forget what, here goes some champagne. Forget what, black lives matter. Tisha, so I have some tissue. I know I'm ready to dish. So I just want to say that I am thankful for my friend for this opportunity for me to fly. Um, I used to be really afraid of heights, afraid of flying, but now I feel very confident. Y'all, I prayed so many times, like getting out the car, 
before I got in the car, like all day I've been praying because I was just scared. But once it took off, I think that's when the nerves get to me. And then after that, once it's, cause we went 27,000 feet in the air. So after that, they kept saying on things. So after that, it was just like just going that way. So once we just like going like this, it's like, it felt normal. Like it felt like I was in a car, but like I had literally had my music up loud and I had my gum chewing. Cause it was like, you know, your ears gonna pop. I think it was gonna like, but it was just like regular. Like once I took my headphone, like my friend kept talking to me. So when I took my headphone out, I, I feel myself having to do like, to, you know, unpop my ears. But other than that, it wasn't as bad. Um, only thing that got me was the landing out. The landing was horrendous, okay? So, the, well, it was funny because I, I laughed it off because it was kind of scary, but I knew it was already on the ground. So, you know, I watched Soul Plane before, so I was thinking, <laughs> I was thinking that how Soul Plane, it was like, doom, doom. it had like little hydraulics. So I was thinking it was gonna be like that, but it literally went like, it was going down. This is the the, the, the ground, so it was going down. So it was like, yep. And after that, it was just like, it was trying to slow down so it was trying to like break itself i guess it was trying to like break like stop so you could feel it it was like oh my gosh it felt like it was gonna fly through something but it was it was an amazing feeling and an amazing experience for me because i'm not really a a, a roller coaster girl like i'll get on one but i'm gonna cry the whole time but after it feels like i did it yay like you feel excited like you you've done it like you did it so I accomplished and I overcame a fear of flying because I had a horrible fear of flying. So I did that. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> Clap for me. <laughs> Y'all are really excited. Like I'm ready to fly everywhere now. Like I'm just ready to go all over the world, explore the world, travel the world, go out of the country. You know, it's just very, it's giving all of that. I'm very excited. I feel happy. I'm thankful for my friend for inviting me on this trip. Um, I never would have went, but I'm glad I I'm glad I came because I had fun. I I I literally been to two schools, well, three states, four states in one day, so that feels great to say I've done it because I've never been up north. I'm in D.C. Well, I'm in Maryland now, but it's just I'm from down south, so I I be down south. <laughs> Only the furthest state I've ever went would probably be Miami, and then I went to Tennessee. So I've been to well, I'm from South Carolina. I've been in South Carolina. I live in North Carolina. I've been to Georgia, Alabama, Miami, or well, Florida, and I've also been to Tennessee. So that's six places I've been to, but they're all down south. So going up north, although I think Virginia is considered down south, so had to go through Virginia, but technically I didn't land in Virginia. But technically, when I was looking up stuff for like to eat and stuff, Virginia is very close to where I'm at right now. Very, very close to where I'm at. Like very close like i never realized how much how close the dmv is like when they say dmv they mean dmv because i thought we was in dc we really is in maryland and then like up the street is virginia like it's so weird anyways <laughs> so yeah it's basically like it's like everything is so close it's kind of creepy but everything is really so close like so I really, I really thoroughly enjoyed that. Like the plane ride was amazing. I'm ready to fly everywhere. Like I really want to go to Houston though, but it's like, what is it to do in Houston? I just want to go to Cancun. They got turkey legs, but I don't eat turkey. But I want to go to Cancun. No. <laughs> I just really enjoy myself. Like this is a great experience for me. Like I get excited about the little things, but this is a really big thing that I can literally cross off my list. Like I flew on a plane. I flew on a plane. I did it. I did it, I conquered a fear, I overcame it, and I'm that grub. And this is that on that. My first plane ride. Like, I have to fly back though, so we're gonna see how that goes. I'm gonna tell you how that goes, cause. Yeah. This is really the second floor, and then like everything else is at the bottom. Like the bottom floor. Now, it's so cute, like, and it's crazy because it's being green. What? Speaking of green rain supreme. And this is on what? 1908, sweetie. <laughs> Fox Ball Star. Yeah, 
I'm at the casino, cause listen. One thing about a two thing for sure, baby, give me a drink, cause I'm gonna want some more. <laughs> Y'all, I'm just mad because we here too late and like, well, I got here too late. They been here since early, but I got down here like I took a nap. I got down here too late to the point to where they are only serving. Oh my, why y'all about she? Shut up. Okay. So why do they only have like most of the machines? Like you see how they have lights at the top? If they have a green light, then it means they're good to go. If they have any other light, they're trash. They're not working. I don't know what is good with my motherfucking car. My name is my motherfucking car. Where to go? Got a tender. <laughs> I got it from Soul Plane. But no, seriously, like, she got my card and I need her to come back ASAP. Like, ASAP. Let do Get me ready to go. Wake up now. Oh, all right so the flight landed so i'm back home this flight was amazing i actually went to sleep on this flight i didn't go sleep the first one on my way to my destination but from my destination i went to sleep and we got here literally in like 40 minutes as well like the last time like we got there in 50, uh, 40 minutes and then we got here in 40 minutes so it's ridiculous how close it is when you're on a plane like how fast you can get your destination so, okay. this was great. Like, nothing, no complaints. It was with American Airlines. I really thoroughly enjoyed myself for this one day. I literally came for a day. <laughs> but, yeah, I was like, yeah, I had fun. And, yeah, this is cool guy on the plane. It's crazy because he was from the same place that I'm from. Well, like a county over. But it was cool because <laughs> it's a crazy story. But he was really cool. And I was glad I met him. So, I got his Instagram stuff, though. Instagram, Twitter, and stuff that I did. It was really cool. It was funny. Um, but yeah, this is just my um, first flight experience. Um, I loved it. I'm ready to travel everywhere now at this point, to be honest. I'm just hungry right now. It's so approximately like 11.56 a.m. So, came back just in time because I gotta go to work in the morning. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and I'm really gonna be traveling now. Somebody to make travel page. <laughs> this is fun. I have fun. Just for me to experience like flying in school, things I've never seen before, like the sky. Not the sky, like I'm a fucking idiot, but like, like literally seeing like the sky from like above it. It's really cool. Cause I used to be on the trampoline land, but like, looking at the clouds, and now I'm like above the clouds. Yeah. Yeah, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys the next time. And I'm out to your skin.